seconds from the state capitol. Luxurious comfort is within reach. At the Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. The legislature gave local school boards the option to pick which textbooks to use last year. But guess how many school districts have elected to do that? Not one. Now, legislation would force local control on the boards this year. The Department of Education currently provides a vetted list of materials for schools to use. Change could lead to 67 different school boards using 67 different sets of textbooks. Senator Maria Sachs says the current system doesn't create confusion. If a student from Miami-Dade moves with family up to Pensacola, they know that it's going to be seamless. Some senators were worried that leaving textbook selection up to local school boards would open up a new chapter in censorship. Legislation could lead to different versions of history being taught. We have people who object to the fact that uh, the Nation of Islam might be mentioned in a textbook. The work of Mark Twain might be in a textbook. 21 days, 19 days, Mr. President. The Florida School Board Association says the bill is a disaster waiting to happen. It's going to be very, very difficult to implement this bill on a statewide basis, and the legislature provided no funds to do it. The bill's sponsor says the fees come from the publisher. He believes local control is what parents want. And most of the time, people resist change. But once they get into it, they find out, you know, this really isn't all that bad. The plan would go into effect for the coming school year. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.